Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna tell you about functions in C. So first we know what is a function. A function is a collection of statements that perform a particular task of some kind. We can say that every C program is a collection of this function. Next we learn some important points about functions and they are any C program contains at least one function. If a program contains only one function, then it must be the main function. Second one is, if a C program contains more than one function, then one of these functions must be the main function, because program execution always begins with main function. Third is, there is no limit on the number of functions that might be present in a C program. That means, we can use any number of functions in a program. It may be 2, 3, 4 or even more. And finally, after each function has done its thing, control returns to the main function. The next thing that I tell you, what is the usage of functions or why we use it? The answer is, writing function avoid rewriting the same code over and over. Suppose you have a section of code that calculates the gross salary of a person. If later in the program you need to calculate the gross salary of different person, then no need to write the same code again, just to call the function. Another advantage is, using function it becomes easier to write program and keep track of what they are doing. Suppose we have a large program, if we divide it into smaller part, then it is easier to us to find the error and handle the program properly. Next we see how to write a function and call it in a program. Let's move to the coding. Here first we see the syntax of how to writing a function. To write a function or defining a function, first we need to write the return type, then function name and then within parentheses specify the parameters and within curly braces write the function body. Return type is the type of value returned by this function. If you want to return an integer value from this function, then the return type will be integer. For float value, you have to use float. And for character value, you have to use char. And if you are not returning any value, then you have to write void. The next thing is function name. Every function should have a name. So you have to specify a function name after this return type. The next thing is specify the parameters within the parentheses. A function can take any number of parameters. Next we see how a function is used in a program. Here we write a function named function1 and we are gonna print something from this function function1. The next thing is before using a function we need to write the prototype. To write the prototype first write the return type that is void then function name that is function1 and then within parentheses specify the parameters since this function does not take any parameter so leave it blank the return type void indicate this function does not return any value the next thing that we need to define this function after the main function so write here void function name and then within curly braces write the function body here we just print something to the screen so I am gonna write here printf I am in function 1 and then a slash n we know that the execution of a program start from the main function and end here so to execute the user defined function we need to call it from the main function to call a function we need to write the function name that is function 1 and within parentheses write the parameters since this function does not take any parameter so leave it blank let's check the output compile it and run it as you can see here it print i am in function one the next thing that i am gonna tell you that is function prototyping using function prototyping we inform the compiler that we write a function called function one and we define it somewhere in the source code but the question is if we don't use it then what happen the compiler scan the program from here and when it come here it find a function call but before this function call we need to define this function but we don't do it so it's a user defined function and gives an error to avoid this error we need to write function prototype 
another thing that we can do we can write this part before the main function so cut it and paste here now compile it and run it the output is same here I am in function 1 here main is also a function we call the function 1 from main function similarly we can call the main function from the user defined function function 1 next I am gonna show you how control is transfer from one function to another here we take another function so first do the prototyping so write here void function 2 this function also does not take any parameter so leave it blank inside the main function I am gonna write something so write here printf and I am gonna write here I am in main and then a slash n then call the function 1 and after this function call I am gonna print something so write here printf I am back in main and then a slash n next we call function 2 from function 1 so write here function 2 and then print I am back in function 1 now we need to define the function 2 so write here void function 2 and within curly braces we write the function body here we print something that is printf I am in function 2 and then slash n let's check the output compile it and run it see here it first print I am in main we know program execution start from the main function so it first execute this statement that's why it print I am in main next it call the function 1 when this statement is execute control transfer here and then execute this statement that's why it print I am in function 1 and then execute this statement and the control transfer to the function 2 and inside the function 2 it execute this statement so it print I am in function 2 after executing this statement control return to the function 1 and then execute the remaining statement so it print I am back in function 1 then control returns to the main function and execute the remaining statement so it first print I am back in main and then execute get ch statement which add a false and the program is terminated so the output is this the last thing that I tell you when we call function 1 from main function then main function is called the caller function and function 1 is called the call function so a caller function is a function that calls another function a call function is one that is called by another function in case of function 1 and function 2 function 1 is called caller function and function 2 is called called function that's it hope you understand see you in next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel